Wow, there's power, acceleration and performance. Most of all, there's style and elegance. What is it? The new and improved Afghan Hound. <laughs> What is it, do you think, that gives them so much style? Well, first and foremost, it's their structure. Um, the Afghan has more muscle bulk to body uh, weight ratio than any other breed. Everybody comments on the way the Afghan moves. It, it, it moves with a style of high order. To watch them move is like watching visual music. It's just amazing that to see their coat and their, their gait and the way that they just fly and they float across the, the ground. And also the temperament, they're really, they're their own dog. They don't really need you. The, the fact that they choose to share their life and have fun with you, you feel a little bit privileged to be honest. How are they with children? I think they're excellent with children today. Uh, 30 years ago when we first got into the breed, they were a pretty snipey little bunch. Um, because we're doing a lot better these days in the temperament department, people are seeing them as, as a, a much better pet than, than what they used to be. They do have a reputation for not being the most intelligent breed, is that, is that fair to say? Well that's true, but the reality is they're a highly intelligent dog provided you assess them in areas where they have some aptitude. They'll do agility because they're skillful. Obedience? Forget it. <laughs> and there's a lot of hard work, isn't there? I mean, the truth is, it's, they're hard work. They are hard work. Yeah. Yeah, I think that it takes something like three hours a week. By the time you bark it, uh, you groom it, and then you've got to do the walking every night. I tell people they're going to have to walk at least five kilometres every day. Wow. So they're going to have an Afghan and, and live in a townhouse. Well, I guess when you show these dogs, it's, it's essentially a beauty parade, isn't it? Oh, it absolutely is. And, and it's, just, it's just as competitive, too. Now, I saw this on one of the dogs earlier. Yes. What is that? That's, it's called a snood, and the idea of that is to put on their head. It, it keeps the ears back out of the face, so that when they're drinking their water or um, having something to eat, they're not going to get their hair all tangled in their mouth. And they like being inside? They love being in the house. They will always find the best um, couch to get onto. And, uh, and you know, they're a rather beautiful, stylish looking dog to have lying around your house. Sure, yeah. it's a photo. It is. <laughs> yeah. There is no doubt that the Afghan's coat takes a lot of maintenance. But the huge bonus is that there are over 15 colours to choose from. So you should have no trouble choosing one that suits your style.